Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all positive integers n, there exists a sequence of n consecutive positive integers containing no primes. Now, our definition of a prime number is as follows. Suppose n is an integer where n is greater than 1. We say n is prime if the only positive divisors of n are 1 and n. Now, some properties of divisors that we're going to use in this proof are as follows. Suppose a is any integer. Then a is the divisor of itself. Another fact we're going to use is... Suppose a, b, and c are integers. If a is a divisor of b and a is a divisor of c, then a is a divisor of b plus c. Another fact we're going to use is... Suppose n is an integer where n is greater than or equal to 1. Then for all integers a, such that 1 is less than or equal to a is less than or equal to n, a is a divisor of n factorial, right? And this makes sense because if you think about it, n factorial is just 1 times 2 times dot 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 times n. And since a is somewhere between 1 and n, this means a is somewhere in this list. So, yeah, we expect a to be a divisor of n factorial. Another fact we're going to use regarding factorials is as follows. Suppose n is any integer where n is greater than or equal to 0. Then n is less than or equal to n factorial. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Well, since we're trying to prove a statement about all positive integers, let's give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer. I'll call it n. From here, our whole goal is to find a sequence of n consecutive positive integers containing no primes. Well, to do that, let's consider the positive integer x, which we'll define by n plus 1 factorial plus 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to show that all of the positive integers in the list x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, and so on and so forth, all the way up to x plus n, are not prime. And to see how we can do that, let's give ourselves an arbitrary integer i such that 1 is less than or equal to i is less than or equal to n. And with i, we are going to show that x plus i is not prime. Because if we can show that, well, since i could be any integer between 1 and n, it doesn't matter what i is. So we would have that x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, and so on and so forth, all the way up to x plus n, are not prime. So let's show that x plus i is not prime. How can we show that x plus i is not prime? Well, according to the definition, one way we could show that is we could show that it is not the case that the only positive divisors of x plus i are 1 and x plus i. In other words, we want to show that there exists a positive divisor of x plus i that is not equal to 1 or x plus i. Well, it turns out we can show that i plus 1 is a positive divisor of x plus i that is not equal to 1 or x plus i. If we can show this, then that will tell us that x plus i is not prime. Okay, so there's four things we essentially need to show. We need to show that i plus 1 is positive, i plus 1 is a divisor of x plus i, i plus 1 is not equal to 1, and i plus 1 is not equal to x plus i. Well, at the start, since we have this inequality, let's take this inequality and add 1 on all three sides. 
If we do that, we're going to get 2 is less than or equal to i plus 1 is less than or equal to n plus 1. And we know that 2 is greater than 1. And by our fourth fact, we know that n plus 1 is less than or equal to n plus 1 factorial. And it's actually already been established that i plus 1 is positive. So that tells us that n plus 1 factorial must be less than n plus 1 factorial plus i plus 1. But remember, n plus 1 factorial plus 1 is equal to x. So this guy is equal to x plus i. So what this tells us is that 1 is less than i plus 1, which is less than x plus i. So this tells us that i plus 1 is positive, i plus 1 is not equal to 1, and i plus 1 is not equal to x plus i. So all that's left to show is that i plus 1 is a divisor of x plus i. Well, we know that x plus i is equal to this. So if we want to show that i plus 1 is a divisor of x plus i, well, maybe we can show that i plus 1 is a divisor of n plus 1 factorial and a divisor of i plus 1. Well, we know that i plus 1 is a divisor of i plus 1 because that's what our first fact tells us. How do we know that i plus 1 is a divisor of n plus 1 factorial? Well, we can look at our third fact. If we take capital N to be n plus 1 and A to be i plus 1, well, it is true that 1 is less than or equal to i plus 1 is less than or equal to n plus 1. Right? That's what's established right here. So we can conclude that i plus 1 is a divisor of n plus 1 factorial. So we have shown that i plus 1 is a divisor of n plus 1 factorial, and i plus 1 is a divisor of i plus 1. By our second fact, i plus 1 is a divisor of the sum of these two guys. And therefore, i plus 1 is a divisor of x plus i. So at this point, we have shown that i plus 1 is positive, it's a divisor of x plus i, i plus 1 is not equal to 1, and i plus 1 is not equal to x plus i. So we have proven our claim. And this shows that x plus i is not prime. So let's put this together. We gave ourselves an arbitrary integer i, such that 1 is less than or equal to i is less than or equal to n. From there, we proceeded to show that x plus i is not prime. Well, since i could be any integer between 1 and n, it doesn't matter what i is. So this tells us that x plus 1, x plus 2, and so on and so forth, all the way up to x plus n, are not prime. So we have found a sequence of n consecutive positive integers, which are not prime. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.